it, it means that there are some descriptions of God that are not proper to God until God actually does something. Okay, you said some attributes of God. Okay. I've been saying that all the way along. Okay. You just haven't been listening. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I agree with you. Right, you agree with me? Brilliant. So you're now one step closer to Christianity right. and one step further away the, from Islam. Action! Please. Guys, just answer this question logically. If I lived alone on an island with no other people around, could I lie? Could I lie? Yes, you can. Could I lie? No. No, I couldn't lie. You can lie to yourself. Exactly. Lying to yourself, you can't escape the fact that you know the truth. Every person, every... Guys, cognitive dissonance is a psychological and emotional problem. What you're talking about is cognitive dissonance. It's commonly known as lying to yourself, but what you're describing is cognitive dissonance and it is a psychologically pathologically prescriptive condition because everyone who lies to themselves at some subconscious level knows the truth okay so let, let me give you another example if I lived on an island could I steal no if I lived on an island could I show mercy no. no. Why? Not? Why? I never said show mercy. Why? Is he inherently merciful? Yes, he is. Why? He has the ability to be Because, brother, if there is no one to be merciful to, you cannot be merciful. No, he has inherent mercy. You're not getting it. Could you not steal? Doesn't animals? exist. Sorry? Oh, bro, we're talking about if you lived alone. I, that, that was part of the, uh, the, the description. I did. I literally said if you lived alone. So, the point is, guys, that Islam has self-contradiction in its very descriptions of God. And Allah says that if his religion has contradictions in it, it's not from God. So, ergo, according to the Islamic test, Islam is proven false. You should stop being Muslim and you should look at Christianity that again. That means you limited God's mercy. Because I never said about showing mercy. I said, does he have the ability to be merciful? And yes, he is. To who? No, I'm saying inherently he's mercy. You said, right, ability. And I said to you very uh, clearly. To who? I said, I said to you very clearly that recognition of someone's activity is it's for us. God does not need to be recognized whether he's merciful or not. He's already merciful. That's what to that's who? The point. Yeah. No, it's not about to who. It's, it's no, it really inherent. is. No, it's his inherent Here's nature. Here's why it is, logically. It's his inherent nature. Okay, let me deal with that argument. Here's why it really is about the to who. Because if you, the only way that you can square the circle is if you can give me an example of mercy that doesn't depend upon a transaction. If you can't, then that means that mercy is about a transaction. And so the to who is important. Well, actually... Sorry, could you, could you repeat that statement? I'll just so, the, he's, the argument is that the tahu is not important. But the reason why it's important is because it cuts to the very heart of what being merciful means. Now, he can win this argument. All he has to do is give an example of mercy that isn't a transaction. But if he can't give that, let me finish. If he can't give that, de if he can't give that example, then that means inherent to the idea of mercy is the idea of transaction, and so my argument is valid. Who said, who said God's mercy is is uh, is, is <coughs> transaction? You said that. What? Who said, <coughs> are you right? Hey, fever. No, it's just hay fever. You'll say that mercy can only be enveloped by the trans by transaction basis, right? That's, that's what you're saying. <coughs> you, you, you've got the floor for a minute. You'll have to talk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, no, it's just it'll pass. Oh, hay fever's just kicking my ass. But, we're not, we're not saying that God's mercy has a transaction. God, if he wanted to create his creation, he can. And what I'm saying is that you're not talking about mercy then. 
No, I'm saying, I'm saying. You've got mercy for the human. I'm saying. You've got mercy for so, 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 that so, 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 is natural. I'm listening to you. You're making better arguments. I'm saying. I'm saying. What I'm saying. I'm saying that God's mercy is not dependent upon His creation. Because God's mercy is part of his essence. And what I... Whether he, whether, whether he shows his mercy to his creation or not, that doesn't matter. Why? Because we believe that despite his essence, he's merciful. Right. That's it. So, so this, is, this is why I'm inviting you to a better religion than Islam. Right? Because we make a distinction between God's essence, notice that word, and God's energies, which is his actions. We make that distinction. Which is why we don't struggle with this concept that you are now struggling with, in which you, which you understand the word mercy in, in a particular way, but then, but then you can't apply it to God before creation. No, I'm saying he has the ability. No, you to literally be have failed. I just, I just said he has the ability to be merciful. That, that. I he has to show mercy in order for him to be merciful. Would you agree that? I'm saying he's inherently merciful whether he creates or not. Because he has that ability, since it's, his in, it's in his essence, so it doesn't really matter. That only applies to human activity. But, but what is mercy? What is mercy? Yeah, what is mercy? According to your understanding, mercy is... I don't, I don't. Mercy is not actually a good definition of Rahman. Uh, it's, not, it's not actually a good definition of Rahman. It has it you don't look Arab. No, I'm not an Arabic. Are you an Arabic speaker? No, no, I'm Bangladesh. Bangladesh, are you an Arabic speaker? No, no, I'm not an Arabic speaker. Suddenly, but, 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 suddenly, Rahman shouldn't be translated no, as mercy. Because Rahman is the full mercy, not mercy. No, because, no, because mercy, mercy comes with... Mercy, mercy, mercy means when the ruler has the power to execute punishment, but he decides not to. Okay? Right. So, Rahman is... It, you can't really translate it, it's quite hard. So, so it is the idea that God can execute punishment, but doesn't. But that's not what Rahman actually means, it's quite... It's so quite even, even that example is still dependent upon another party. No. Yes, it is. No, no, I'm because if there wasn't someone that could be punished, Allah couldn't withhold the punishment. Does that mean he's dependent upon his creation? Yes! So you're saying he's not independent? So what we're saying is... His, his existence is, is independent. This is... This is the, so let me, let me address that question. So what we're saying is, right, to answer the last question first, is, it, is his existence dependent? Absolutely not. Because that is one of the properties that is of his essence, existence. Right. Doesn't depend on anything. But the energies of God, God's activities, are dependent upon God's essence. They don't hang on creation, they hang on the fact of something inside of God. So we can only recognize God if He created something. He created. We can only recognize God as creator because He creates, and He is only the creator at the point so that He if creates. He didn't create. He wouldn't he be creator. No, no, would He still exist? Yes, of course He would. Okay, but does He have the ability to create? Yes, because he's all-powerful. There you go. So you're but you're not listening. You're, actually confirming you're not saying. listening. I've said that many times. That's because he's all-powerful. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't make him a creator, That's though. That's what I'm saying. He has the ability. So you're saying he wasn't always the creator? He was always the creator. There. Irrespective. You don't even see the contradiction, bro. Hang on. He has the ability to create. Okay. Okay. So irrespective of whether he creates or not, he's still the creator. Why? Let, let's he has the ability to create. Let's try and let's try. It's about free will. Let's he, he has the will. If he wants the will to create, he creates. He wasn't. So notice, no, no, no. Notice what he's he's doing there. We're talking about the attribute of creator. One specific. One specific attribute. Before he did it. And, and what we're trying to and what, what I'm pointing out is, if you assert that Allah has always been the creator, then that means you are inherently contradicting logic no, and yourself. Let me finish. You are, you are Let me finish. Let me finish. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. That means God doesn't no, it doesn't. Because creates. what you then did is you tried to shift the argument away from the fact that you assert that God has always been the creator yes, been to the idea that God has free will and so he could he's all create. He's all but someone who could create has the potentiality. That doesn't make him creator. You are not a father just because... You are not the father just because you have sperm. Okay, so I'm going to ask you this question again. You're not an inventor just because you have a mind. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask him, I'm gonna ask You're not a murderer. You're not a murderer until you kill someone. You're not a rapist until you rape someone. Potentiality 
is not equivalence to actuality. But you're confirming what I'm saying because he has the ability. I'm really to not. I'm saying he's all powerful. He has the ability to create. Potentiality. No, he has the ability to create. That's potentiality. So he's the creator. Are you saying potentiality and actuality are the same? No, I'm not saying. I'm saying inherently. No. Inherently. So potentiality. The, no, inherently. Potentiality. No, no, inherently. Potentiality. Wait, 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 let me inherently, he's the creator. Which is potentiality. He's still the creator. Right. One second. You are con. This is why Islam has logical contradictions. You are making potentiality and actuality equivalence. We Christians don't do that. We say that there is a distinction between the potentialities of God. Does he have the potential one second, to one second, one second. We have some. We have. We talk about the potentialities of God that are derivatives of God's essence. Those things that are of God's essence are independent of anything else. Those things that are potentialities have some connection to the essence and to the activity of God in creation. In other words, we Christians don't say God is the creator until the point he creates, which is logic. But that doesn't mean that God doesn't exist or that God is not all powerful or that God doesn't have a mind. But in Islam, you try to assert two contradictory things. One, God is completely self-sufficient in everything. Two, that God is merciful or a creator, but both being merciful and a creator require something else. Not to God, no. Because he is still the creator. So who was a creator? Who was he? He has the ability to create. So he's the that creator. is potentiality, so he's the not actuality. Do you understand the difference between potential and actual? Yeah, I did. Right. What's the difference between potential and actual? Means he hasn't materialized. Yeah, Actuality cool. means he hasn't materialized. Okay. So I'm yeah, yeah. Saying, so what I'm saying is, irrespective if God creates or not, He is still the creator. Why? Because He has the ability to create. Of what? What word is created? Because anything. He's not dependent. He's not dependent upon His creation. But He hasn't created anything. That's what. Look, Whatever. Look. He's still. Wait, wait, wait. In order, look, we say he's the creator, yeah. irrespective of whether he has the creation or not. I get that, and that's why I'm saying it's a contradiction. No, it's not a contradiction. And I've proven to you it is a contradiction. Even you think it's a contradiction. No, no, no. Because you can't give me an example of mercy that doesn't involve a transaction. I, I, but you're talking about activity. I'm right. talking about inherent. I have the potential. The divine right. Essence. Brother, essence. me and you have the potential to kill people. Does that make us killers? No, it doesn't make us killers. That's my point. It, it means that there are some descriptions of God that are not proper to God until God actually does something. Okay, you said some attributes of God. Okay. I've been saying that all the way along. You just haven't been listening. Okay, I agree with you then. Right, you agree with me? Brilliant. So you're now one step closer to Christianity and one step further away from Islam. I'm talking about specific attributes. Specific. Okay. specific I really did. Did I? Who heard me say specific attributes? Yeah. So, so here, here we go, bro. Right. If you accept the Christian logic about our description of God, then that means you have now, at this moment in time, rejected Orthodox Sunni Islam, because Orthodox Sunni Islam argues against what I'm saying. So. And you've accepted it based upon the logic of the argument because you don't want to defend contradiction and I applaud you for that. I, I'm not attacking you, I'm saying that is a good thing. But now what I'm saying is you owe it to yourself to learn about Christianity again, do the appropriate comparison to Islam and when you recognise what I've already recognised, to, to reject as Allah commands you to reject, anything other from Allah would have many contradictions Yes, you should reject the Quran. Okay. Yeah, you should reject the Quran. We'll you. And then and then look Sorry, at Christ. You are wrong. You are right. That's what I'm asking you to do. Right. right. But however, Please, I, give me a I, I appreciate, I appreciate it. Right. Anyway, shall we finish? Yeah, I'll finish. You appreciate it. It was really if one I, second. If I did offend you, it was really it was really nice. No, not at all. Actually, it's been a very pleasant conversation. Um, I'm not taking it off. I'm, oh, right. okay.
I'm just giving them a book. Tell me the story about it. More your philosophy. Bro, I, I want to give you a book. No, 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 no. This is a Gospel of John. Do you have a Gospel of John? Uh, I do have the Bible at home. Do you really? I do, I do. My sister bought it. Your sister bought your Bible? Yeah, she studied it. Okay. Are you not lying before Allah now, right now, are you? I'm not lying. Okay, so pick up that Bible, have a read of it, and come and talk to me. My sister bought a new international version of KGB. So she, she just bought it like a month ago. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you have, pick them up, have a read of them, and then write down your questions and come and talk to no, me again. No, no, I will never lie. If I, if I, if I, I will say this one thing. When I come out of the park, I can never lose. I either affirm what I say is true, or I learn something. Yeah. yeah so that's a good attitude. That's, that's, so, so I have, I have a good attitude. So yeah, it's been a pleasure talking to you. It's been a pleasure talking to you. You learned something about Christian history, yeah, sure. and you learned something about Christian yeah, no, theology. No but perhaps maybe don't make such bombastic claims about people like Constantine and about your knowledge of the Christian but faith. In terms of the theology side, I'm still not familiar. Okay, we'll, 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 uh, we'll talk about it again. So you, you had a question. Do you know the story of Moses' piece of body? Sorry? Moses' piece of body as a prophet. J yes, in the general scope, in the general scope, yeah. Did you read about him? In the general scope, yeah. Yes, yes, I've read the story of Moses. How he been as a prophet and he asked to see God. Yes. What happened to him? God said, you can't see my face, but I'll show you my back parts and I'll put you in a cleft of the rock. So, so let me, let me just reply to the camera. One second. Let me just, no, 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 one second. So let me, let me just, let me just, so let me just, so let me just. You, you just got to deal with the quacks. Where's the microphone? Great. So you'll just have to pay attention to my voice, guys, because you do get this. So let me just deal with that question that this brother said. Do you know the story of Moses? Do you know what happened? And I said, God said, you can't see my face. You can only see my parts. And I put you in the cleft of the rock and then he'll pass by. And he walked off as if he proudly had won some kind of argument. And this kind of attitude of, of Muslims here in the park that do that happens again and again and again because they're frightened of real discussion because in the Quran it said that Allah spoke from a burning bush and Muslims believe that the attributes of Allah can't be separated or divided for Allah is one so if Allah's voice was spoken from the bush then that means Allah was present in the bush so he was inside creation so Muslims have exactly the same idea in their religion. It's just that what their scholars tell them and what their Quran tells them don't line up. Because their scholars defined Islam in argument against Christianity, not based upon reading directly from the Quran. And so they say one thing as scholars and their books say something else. Okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. You didn't tell me how many pages in Bible. I have no idea. I don't know. You know everything. No, tell me. I don't know. You, you, you don't know. Right, guys, I'm going to do some talks. I'm not interested. No, I'm not interested. And Bible is only 200 pages. Brilliant. You're right. Absolutely. And Torah is a 700 pages. Oh, really brilliant. Fantastic. And it's been put together. Great. It's live. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Bible. Muslim copied from Quran Bible. Yes, totally. And the Quran did, did not copy anybody. Okay, you're right. Quran is word of Allah. Brilliant. Word of God. Thank you. And I am Shall we go son now? of God. <laughs> I am son of God. I'm going to do some talks. Guys, I'm going to do some talks if you want to hear them.